Okay, so this is going to be an easy one. You're going to have to excuse my dog. I think he's going to be whining a little bit. Go lay down, Jupiter. Don't knock up my fence. Go lay down. Okay, we're going to start with a one-inch brush. And this is going to be very simple. We're going to put this on a black background. I'm going to use, sorry, I meant to tell you. I'm going to use black, white, pink, yellow, red, bright green, teal, orange, and purple. And we're gonna paint this right here. Okay, so first what you have to do is dip your brush both sides in the black, and we're just going to slap this on here and cover your whole canvas in black. Mine, I just recovered it with gesso so I could reuse it. So a little bit of texture on there, which that's okay. It'll make it look kind of neat. And I'll always reuse my canvases if I don't like the painting I did before. Now, if your paint doesn't spread, oops, that's too much. You can dip it in a little bit of water and dampen your brush. As you know, I got too much over here. It's starting to run just a little bit, but it'll make the paint spread. A little bit better. My paint's the real thick craft paint and uh, instead of the regular acrylic. But you can use anything. You can use craft paints, professional acrylic paints, whatever Michaels or Hobby Lobby might have at the time. And they still have some things. Yesterday I was actually out at, or the day before, I did a curbside pickup at Michaels, which was excellent. I just ordered online and Went over there and they had it for me. They're running out of things quickly, they said. Okay, so now I use quite a bit of black. And we got that all covered. I want all the white covered because it will stand out with the rest of it being so dark. Okay, you can see my little texture there I have from another painting. Okay, so I think that is pretty covered. Alrighty. So now you have to let this dry. Sorry if my camera's bouncing. I've got a different setup this morning. Um, so now what we're going to do is just make sure all the white is covered and not coming through. And we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. So if you want to pause it and walk away, get a, a drink or something, that would be great. And when we come back, it will be dry and we can start. Okay. Mine is pretty dry, so <clears throat> on this one, I used a small 8x8 square, and I got a little bit of the fluff, but I wanted it to be longer, so today I used a, uh, I think it's a 9x12 canvas, and my dog just took something off of the table. Okay, so, sorry about that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little white. And we're going to outline where we want our flower. You can also do this in regular old chalkboard chalk. And then if you don't put the lines exactly over the chalk or there's chalk remaining, at the end when it's all dry, you can take a plain paintbrush with a little bit of clear water and go right over the chalk marks and they'll go away. But I don't have chalk today, so I'm going to use white paint and I'm gonna put my stem, I guess about here, and I'm gonna go maybe almost midway, right? So I'll do a little thin stem. The nice thing is it's on black. So if I don't like thickness, I can go ahead and change it at the end with black when it's dry, I'll show you how. And we'll just put in our little flower, sorry, put in our little flower piece here. And then what we're gonna do is you wanna put in some little squiggles under the flower. Some little fluff, okay? Now, we're gonna go in a circle with different colors. So we're gonna start about here and we'll make a little circle. I know, Aramis, sorry, my cat's wanting me now too. So I'm gonna put my little dots about right here. Now, you're gonna go ahead and get your little um, cotton swabs and of course your paints. So I'm gonna set out 
all my colors right next to each other. I'll show you just a little of each. I did pink, yellow, red, green, teal, aqua, orange, and purple. So I laid them all on my plate, okay? Now I'm gonna take about, hmm, I think four cotton swabs. And you can tape them together or you can put a banner on them or just hold them. It just doesn't matter, however you feel comfortable. I'm gonna dip them into the pink, and make sure they dot right. And I'm gonna start here, right on the stem. I'm just gonna go dot, 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 dot. Make it kind of fluffy. I need more paint. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just gonna turn them over and I'm gonna dip them in the yellow. Now the yellow is kind of light and we'll see if it dries okay on here. If your yellow does not show up, then you can dip it in a little bit of white like I did over there and you can mix it and it will show up a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this into the pink, take it into the pink so it's kind of overlapping. And I think that's good there. Now I'm gonna get mm, four more of my little cotton swabs. I'm gonna go with red this time. So we'll do red here and we're gonna go over the yellow Incorporate the yellow, a little more red. And you just dot it. Okay, I think that's probably good. I'm gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna do teal instead. I don't want red and green together. So I'm gonna do the teal. Get them all like that. I'm just gonna touch and dot, dot, dot. Go over the red a little bit to incorporate it into the teal. And if you see, I'm following the little white dots I made, making sure I cover it up. So that's the loudmouth Pomeranian. Okay, after the teal, I'm gonna get four more Caesar, clear ones. And this time I'll do green. So I'll dip it in green. And we're gonna incorporate it into the blue a little bit. And just always make sure there's enough paint on there so the black isn't coming through too terribly much. If it does come through a lot, you can always mix white, a little bit of white with the color to brighten it up a little, make it a little bit denser. And you'll see it a little better in the black. Okay, there's the green. Now I'm gonna flip them over and I'm gonna go with orange. And I'm gonna incorporate the orange into the green. Oops, that's a little smushed, but that's okay. The orange is kind of thin, so it's not turning out like I like it. So I'm gonna mix a little white with the orange. Okay. It's a little thick, but that's okay. Flowers are not perfect. Okay, and next I'm gonna go with purple. Purple's a little dark. I'm gonna take a little white and mix it with purple. This does make a mess and that's fun. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna dot those on the plate. Let's see, oh yeah, it's a lot better. Incorporate that. And I'm gonna go back in with some dark as well. Just to make it 
blend a little better. Okay. Now my first one was pink, so I'm gonna go back to the pink and I'm just gonna bring it around. If I had other colors, I would have added even two or three more colors just to be more colorful. Okay. So now you've got your flower and you're going to want to take your small paintbrush, like a little long round one that you made your stem with. And I'm gonna pick my favorite colors. I really like the yellow, so I'm gonna take yellow and I'm going to oops, roll it onto the tip like that and roll it on the plate so it's thin. And I'm gonna start maybe here. We're gonna have some puff fluff come out. So we're gonna do a little stem and then we'll just give it four or five little pieces so it looks like the fluff's coming off the flower. And I'm gonna make that a little thicker so it shows up. Okay, next, I just wiped off my brush. Next, let's go with teal. And we're gonna put it maybe down here. Okay. And I'll wipe that off. And nice thing is, if I don't like it, I can go over those two in black. So I can take a little black and go right over that teal because they're extra pieces. Okay, wipe off my brush. Um. Let's go with, how about some red? I kinda like the red. And I'm gonna put one up here now. They're just kinda wispies. That's not gonna show up. So I'm gonna blend a little white with a little red. Not make it pink, but make it a brighter red. And we're gonna go like this and like this. Just make it look like little pieces of the flower coming off. And wipe off my brush and maybe I'll use the purple, the light purple. Roll it in there and maybe I'll come over here and put it down here a little half or a little half moon kind of shape. Put in my little wispies and that's about it. So now Whatever you don't like or you, you think you messed up on, you can dip it in the black. I don't like that extra stem there. and I don't like that. So I'm gonna cover that up a little bit. And over here, you can just make your lines a little cleaner by going over it with black. See that? And make it a little smaller. Alrighty, and that's that. <laughs> so now you have a nice little flower and some wispies. You can put wispies all around. You can make it any color you want. Um, it's quick and it's fun and relaxing. So I hope you have a good time doing this one, and I hope to see some pictures of yours in the comments. Thank you. Have a good day.